Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make a hand sanitizer with no aloe vera involved. For that you need alcohol, whatever you got, 70, I have 70%, but it's best to have a higher volume of alcohol. Hyd hydrogen peroxide vegetable gla glycerin distillated water or filtered water a little container where you're gonna mix everything and a little container where you're gonna keep the hand sanitizer you can use the spray bottle but I'm gonna use this one So let's begin. We need 80 milligrams, milliliters of alcohol. 80 milliliters is one third of the cup. One third of the cup is 80 milliliters. I don't know. This recipe is calling for alcohol and I know it's shortage of alcohol. So I would suggest if you don't have alcohol you can use the drinking alcohol also or you can use hydrogen peroxide just use uh, a cup of hydrogen peroxide but I have alcohol so I'll show you how to make it with alcohol so 80 milliliters of alcohol one and a, th one and a third of the cup Just place it in the mixing bowl. Five milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. It's one teaspoon. One tablespoon. I'm sorry. It's one tablespoon, five milliliters. One tablespoon is five milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And again, if you don't have alcohol, just use a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide kills all, all bacteria. That's why they use it in the hospital to wash off the wounds because it kills bacteria. So five milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and place it in the mixing bowl. Then we need one and a half milliliters of glycerin. The, the vegetables glycerin is gonna, because of the alcohol, it dries out your skin. Uh, glycerin is gonna moisturize your skin. So one and a half milliliter, uh, one teaspoon has 125 milliliters. One teaspoon is one, 125. So we're gonna add one and a half teaspoon. of glycerin. I would add more, even more, so it's gonna be jello-like. I don't know, I would add a cup of glycerin because I want it to be jello-like. I want it to be jelly. So let me put more of glycerin. I'm gonna put half of the cup of glycerin.
I want it to be I want it to be jello like I want it to be jelly and we put 10 milliliters of water so um, one tablespoon is five milliliters so we put two tablespoons of water just filtered water And that's it. It's ready to be used. I don't know guys if you like it to be that I don't know watery just don't put glycerin but I gonna put like a lot of glycerin until it's like jello like the hand sanitizer you ha you you used to buy in stores. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in in the container like that so I can easily pour it out in the bottle. I'm sure you have containers like that. And now we can pour it in the bottle. That's it, the hand sanitizer is ready. It's very nice, it's gonna kill all bacteria. It's very moisturizing because you have glycerin inside. And uh, you can disinfect the surfaces, you can go outside, you can disinfect your hands, you can disinfect the, the shopping carts. You can keep it in your purse when you go outside. 